Hello and welcome back to part two of the Gord gameplay footage, the game uh, that has just recently released a medieval horror survival game where you need to tame the north. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our little adventure. Last time we've uh, rescued our Gord, kind of rebuilt uh, the major parts in it and we've almost lost a couple of our initial uh, settlers. Xenotaph has almost be eaten by wolves so it was just uh, in time that his friends came along and helped him to survive. And in order to uh, now continue this playthrough we want to make sure that Xeno actually feels all right. So we're going to build him a new building, the Balia. The Balia is a building that can be used for healing. And apparently the Midri, which we have right next to it, will increase sanity. And we do have uh, quite a few of our uh, inhabitants that already could re uh, require some help with their sanity and help. But for now, We'll start to make sure that Zeno is feeling better. He does have a first condition frail heart where he loses large proportion of his maximum health. So let's hope that can uh, be recovered. What else do we need? We have a metery. I would like to get an archery range as well. And I think the rest is okay for now. So Fiddler, I don't, I don't know, John, why are you, why are you hunting there? Can we just reposition that? No, apparently not. Hmm, I don't like that auto gathering feature. Listen. You, for instance, you're already running into massive trouble. Why aren't you just gathering nearby? Mm. Oh, because the reed is depleted here? I see. Uh, the ever-growing need to go in deeper for more resources. Is the reed depleted down here? No. Thank you. Good. So in the meantime, Zeno uh, is being treated, but he's not yet. He has not lost his condition, the frail-hearted condition. And I think we still need to store quite a bit of food. So that in itself is a problem. Once Zeno is back in action, I think what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to um, let him help with food. Tip, by the way, physical afflictions can be healed for a price in a hermit's hut. Well... Wasn't there one over here? That was the cartographer's hut, if I'm not mistaken. Good. Zeno is fine. But he could use some sanity as well. Matter of fact, a couple of our guys could use some sanity. John here, for instance, as well. We do have a good amount of resources. We just need enough food in order to then reach the marked location. We're healed up. As always, this is dangerous to go in alone. Mm. 
Fabulous. So, we you can see uh, for the ones that are drinking their worries away, they are regaining quite a bit of sanity down here. And I would like you to become a fisher. Who else needs a sanity boost? Grabby here once she's done. And Doja over here. Alright, Krabby, very well, appreciate it. John looks fine to me, might as well help us with food production. We're okay on the other resources. Unfortunately, we haven't really found a way to mine gold yet. Uh, storehouse, Midri, Archery range is what we wanted to build. so. Let's make sure we got that. Twayla is now an adult. That's perfect because then she can actually do something. And I sort of like uh, the um, the whole resource gathering aspect. I'm not sure though if it is great for replayability. It is cool the first time, but I'm not sure if it will be cool the 150s time. Specifically, the micromanagement of these guys just running off is a bit disheartening. And someone here is in labor? Is that what I'm seeing? No way, Nevin! The settlement's growth has significantly increased. Nice, okay, cool. Well, well. Does anyone need... Fiddler here could use some kind words. Come back. And I think we're having enough food. Our source of food has been depleted. Good. Well, this is the game telling us, listen, you gotta move up and uh, hurry a little bit. You can't uh, wait here forever. Our sisters are enjoying their quality of life. Good, everybody back uh, to the center of the village. Good, and we need a couple of archers, I would say. Mm -mm. No gold left, okay, well, it's not happening, we're just going to uh, go in with uh, normal scouts then. I think scouts do not cost any resources. Appreciate that you're working hard, but everybody needs to now meet in the town center. Good, that includes the scouts and that includes you too. All right, time for us to actually start going out and explore a little bit further. The scouts will provide us with enough light so that no one here should feel anxious. Okay, very careful now. 
we don't know what lurks inside of the woods we have heard some wolves and we can see them no it's a boar even worse Good, focus fire has left them down. Traps can be anywhere. Some tricks trigger when you step on them. Some traps uh, trigger when you interact with them. Did they trigger? No, so far we're fine. Just exploring here. All right, more boars. Our brother needs help. Bit of gold, more gold. An item found. Xeno, you got an item. Exploring. Uh, next time a subject levels up in exploring, uh, the experience level will increase by two instead of one. Item shatters. Okay. Well, look at that. A free exploration level item. Not bad. By the way, guys, I'm not sure if I am supposed to uh, actually look through that entire map here. But it seems a bit like a fun way of going uh, through the entirety. Oh, these are just deers, uh, uh, deer that we can hunt. Okay. Slowly but surely we're going through the woods and we're finding a couple more wolves. Yeah, focus fire all the way. Good. Gold, wood, a couple more resources and food. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. So there's a bit of a benefit of actually exploring. Oh, okay, so these are resource uh, piles. I thought these were gold piles and we just couldn't gather them yet. So does that mean these here are resource piles as well? Nice, okay. Starting to get the hang of it. More deer and some more food. So Actually, exploration seems like a fun way of just getting more resources. So we've certainly we've certainly made some advances. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we needed winter clothing. Uh, how about fiddler? Excellent back, new. Um, what does the back do? Oh, inventory capacity. Oh, that looks interesting. Discover disguised mimics. Damn it, we have a little bit too a little gold for that. Good, and now it's winter time and I have absolutely no idea if that's a good sign or a bad sign. I'll leave these um, 
weeds there. Apparently they are a little health potions, so we can use them later. There's some more gold. Okay, let's get that um, Mimic Discovery Stone. I like the idea of gold as a shared resource uh, for a lot of uh, the soldiers as well. But there must be a way of getting a better get, getting a better way of um, collecting gold. So let's buy this here. It's expensive, but we can now detect mimics. Fiddler is going to be the one that is going to help us doing so. So the moment that we are finding a mimic in disguise that'll be very helpful i have absolutely no idea how strong mimics are and and or how frequent they appear but as someone who has played a good amount of DD in his life i can tell you guys you don't want to mess with a mimic they always show up at the worst possible time Good. I realize there are a couple more traps up here. Careful there. But there's also a nice torch. That's the cartographer's building, so we don't need to go in there. Let's instead move a bit further to the north, shall we? More gold and sturdy boots. Twyla. Wait, 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 wait. What is sturdy boots? More movement speed. Uh, she drops that immediately. Nothing against you, Twyla, but the one thing that I learned is we can only take so many items from one scenario to another. And. Let's give it to Krabby. Before we're getting attacked. Was wounded by a okay. A little bit of healing here. Sanity regeneration and some health regained. Okay, cool. More gold. Yeah, against wolves and so on, no problem. We can. Uh, stand a good chance, but I wonder if there are bigger beasts in the tutorial. I've already seen a couple of them. Holy shit, do you not want to fight against them? They really look like man-eating creatures. Spiders. Okay. Let's try to pull them. One at a time. Right, come here. Okay, you can individually pull them, that's good. Everybody piles up on them. Very nice, good. Fighting experience, 200% for one month. That is exactly what we needed. In the meantime, we hear more 
wolves from below. Okay, choke points are our friend. Let's go. Just gotta pile up on them. Oh, and dragon down here. Yeah, we can't use you at the moment, buddy. Some health regeneration. I love the master a uh, mustache. A magician. Focus. Everybody on the wild folk warriors. Just out of curiosity, do we we do get experience, right? Oh, look at that. Cool. So fighting experience level 2, which means his uh, attacks deal more damage and he gets more experience. And we do have a shrine going at the moment for even more experience. Nice. I like that. Unfortunately, more enemies. Whisperers can use powerful spells called Incarnation, which can vary in nature. Yeah, we've heard about that already. Open the Incarnation uh, menu and use Fracture on the wildlife. Okay. Fracture does what exactly? Hellish Torment. Uh, target needs to be severely wounded before the spell can be used. Uh, spawns a hellish torture to crush the limbs of your opponent. Okay. Got you. Well. Is there anyone available that is hellishly injured? No. I get it. I do understand that I need to use it, but there is no target. Traveler since my village got destroyed. People call me Lynx. Mm -hmm. I am Edwin, an emissary of King Isidore II of Calanthia. It seems we share common enemies. What was that thing you just did to these savages? Forest tricks. You pick them up if you live here long enough. But how come savages are a concern to such fine lords as you? And who are you, old man? I am Bogdan, elder of the tribe of the Dawn, humble servants of Dabo. 
Davo? The defeated god of the sun. Watch your tongue, witch. I've lived long enough to recognize forbidden magic when I see it. Helping you is a mistake. Hold on, old man. Undeniably, our new friend has some skills and a grudge against our enemy. I would suggest we join forces and welcome her into our settlement. I wouldn't mind a hot bath. But, sir... You yourself keep reminding us how dangerous these lands are. Well, we could use every pair of hands, especially hands as skilled as these, to deal with those threats until the Calanthian troops arrive, couldn't we? Uh, yes, sire. Very well then. Let us carry on through those swamps and across the river. There is supposed to be a very nice settlement there. Are you sure you need to go that way? Of course we're sure, woman. We're following the map drawn by the royal cartographer. What is the matter? Well, I think I already got rid of most of the filth on the way here. But beasts, monsters, and wild folk living in those swamps drain my powers almost completely. Beasts and monsters and... Building a temple and assigning somebody to pray in it would help me recover much faster. And believe me, you will find my powers useful in those swamps ahead. <clears throat> yes. I believe that we all agree that safety of us, our subjects, is of utmost importance. Let's build this temple of yours for... Uh, may the gods protect us. I can take care of that, Elder. You just have some faith. Mm hmm. So we've finally unlocked the faith. Interesting. Let's quickly overpower the remaining wild uh, folks and you, my good sir, need to move behind behind the friend's lines. The people cannot eat their daydreams, sire. Oh, we're out of food. Well, fabulous. In that case. Let's move back to the camp. Got some food here. Some more food there. And Nevin unfortunately triggered a trap. And is now poisoned. Oh, that is very unfortunate. Let's hope the poisoning won't last that long. We're okay on food for now. But I want to continue the exploration as far as possible. Let's continue our exploration. More spiders, holy. And you should not always stand in the front line. Nevin has finally recovered.
But there is plenty of food around here. Some more food here, hopefully. Yep. Good, let's get the wolves down. And finish our exploration. Good, everybody is starving a little bit. I don't like that. Haven't regained some hit points. And we need food, which we can find here. That guy is trapped, so I don't want... Doja this time is the one who is being trapped, uh, who's being poisoned, sorry. Excellent hammer, what does that do? Mining efficiency, okay, well, uh, Xeno, how about you're picking that up? No, no, we don't want to trigger further traps. Oh, someone has downed Fiddler? Okay, I was about to say, how is that possible? He's the best warrior. Good, we got Iron Plane. Mu Reginio. Who got that? The loot uh, in this game and how it's being displayed, the inventory management in general, is absolutely hilarious. Not in a good way. Good, we're starving, so we need more food. Up here might be the right place, but it is heavily trapped. But there is a campfire. I don't know what the campfire does. Our brother is in danger. No, no, don't just move in there. That's not a clever idea. Doja gets that and some sanity. A little bit more gold. A lot more gold. An enemy has attacked our system. Good. John needs some healing. And John needs some more healing. Okay. We're doing fine health wise. Some food here and there from time to time isn't bad. Item found crabby. Uh, plant herbs. What does that do? Here is the item, oh my god. 
Good. Well, it's lost in the ages, apparently. I like the whole mechanic about gathering stuff. What I don't like is the amount of food that you apparently need to acquire in order to just sustain the party. Our people are starving. Yeah, I get that. No shit, Sherlock. Which is why we're getting back to our village in order to get food. Um, exploration gain. How about Zeno? You're trying to take that. All right, seems to not work yet. Off we go back to where have we've been coming from originally. And mostly everybody has been healed. Very good. So back into the city. We do have plenty of resources. Let's just double check. We need food. Um, so you there, you there. Fisher, Fisher. Who's the third Fisher? Oh, you are, okay. Good, all of you can fish. Uh, you two begin to collect. Make that three. Good. A good old dragon here uh, was uh, by himself the entire time. And now what we would want to do, a shrine is a small structure that deepens the spiritual attunement of nearby subjects, uh, moderately uh, raising uh, the faith. That's fine. Might as well build that here in the middle. Where are the mushrooms? Oh, I think we have completely exhausted them. Which means you might want to become a hunter. We need more wood. Uh, try that one. And we wanted the actual temple. You couldn't build that any bigger, could you? The people cannot eat their daydreams, sire. Yeah, I realize that we are a little bit short on food. Good, so we got a temple, that's fine. 
Let's build this and this, which are our carvings. They will regenerate uh, sanity and help everybody. So that's good. Got a shrine. Might as well build an additional gate down here. Okay. And what else do we have? So we do have utility site for 75. Where do we see? Oh, we got 500. I see. Um, site illuminates uh, an area. Haze invokes a mist that conceals your subjects from the sight of enemies. Support focus the power of divine to increase the strength of your subjects attacks. Haste channels the power to uh, mm, increase the subject's movement speed. Focus, power of the gods will flow through your subjects, uh, mm, freeing them from their earthly cares and needing to allow them to focus on the fruits of uh, your labor. Mm -hmm. And then zap, which will basically just kill an enemy. I am still wondering Can we somehow upgrade other structures? Sire, I'm glad that we found time to praise the true gods, but we need to proceed with our plan. The emissary is getting... The people of Gord need sustenance, sire. Wow, yet another chi uh, child. Oh my gosh, guys. You are starving and you're still producing more offspring. I would like to upgrade the fishing shack. How do I do that? So we know we know that it can be upgraded, but how? I would love to increase the food production. Fishing shack. Um Oh, fantastic. I finally found out how to fish. Uh, how to do the, uh, how to do a manual gatherer. All right, reads. Yes, please. Good, and the hunting, let's start here as well. Okay, so we have clarified how to basically do the non, uh, the manual, the non-automatic uh, mm, gathering, but other than dismantle, how can I upgrade the actual structure? Maybe it's too early in the game. Maybe the game does not allow that yet.
All right, in the temple, we can pray for a little bit more. This guy is now an adult, so he can also pray. Our source of food has been depleted. Where? So when you say something like that, resources in range of the hunters then are completed, uh, depleted. How? Okay. No full moon is entirely peaceful. When the moon turns red, the bloodshed in the land grows beyond one's worst imagination. Coarse power are great at the peak, feeding off human fears and sorrow, giving them the ability to spawn monsters. New monsters spawn spawn that night. Uh, born in the false god's mind. Okay, that does not sound good. We need some more food. Our source of food has been depleted. We're getting some food, that's good. Let's just do that. Once we're at 500, I would say we can move on. Our source of reeds has been depleted. Dang it. Okay. Well, the manual ones are still better than letting them automatically do it. Our source of food has been depleted. Our source of food has been depleted. Good. You gotta get it from below there. Fair enough. 300. In terms of temple, yeah, we got almost 2000. That's enough for some, for some side, shall we? Okay, can I... Haze invokes a mist that conceals the subject, support, offense, battle cry. Oh, wow. That thing does not look pleasant. Can we injure it? Damn it, John, run. And we run here as well. Oh, not good, not good. I don't know why you would uh, go out that far. Where the living hell are you? Okay, might be a good time to just get everybody. Mm. OK, 
Okay, we're at 300 food. Let's do a few things here, shall we? You need sanity, badly. You need health. You need health. You need sanity. Good. In the meantime, we need a few archers. Because that tree looked like we want to fight it from range. And we need a few scouts. The two of you can do that. Um, in the meantime, let's not waste our gold whilst everybody's recovering. Yeah, it still counts. Unfortunately, the wages for military are super, super high. Okay, cool. Alright, sit down, have a drink, recover some sanity. The people seem to agree with your decision making, sir. Good. We get two archers. And now we're off. Very nice. You in particular need sanity. That's one, two, and three. That must be enough. And we are making our way up here. I wonder what kind of monsters are going to spawn. This is going to be interesting. I'm already going to have our support ready. In terms of haste, does that only target one creature? Yes, it does. Food is already low. We're just eating way too much. Let's cross that river. All right, a couple of spiders. Is that damned crossing that we're looking for. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm uh, still not sure where that crossing is located. Krabby who has uh, the speed boots. It's just a bit faster than the others. Krabby, health and health, and a little bit more health here. Good. Just want to make sure everybody is ready for the next step. you are supposed to only bring a small group uh, whilst the others are still continuing the food production and so on kind of specialize your tribe a little bit more Item dropped. Okay, we got a broken sword. That's good. Still need to go right over here. There's another trap. And what are these guys? A gazer. Okay. I know that they are starving but we got Ifana with us yet another yet another mouth to feed now already pausing the game to make sure not so much in-game time passes as we're collecting all of the resources Line is standing strong. Well, that's good. Wow, and we got another uh, another small one. Galus has just been born. Good, we're at a sacred place. That's something, but it doesn't solve our hunger problem. Time to go over there and face our end boss. Ah. 
Good. It starts to play much more like a real-time strategy game and much less like a small squad-based combat. Good. Fiddler, you need healing. <coughs> and John needs some healing. Okay, well, John needs some more of the herbs. Do we have anyone else who needs healing? Doja, maybe. Typical front line. The people of God need sustenance, sir. What a labyrinth. But I think we're very, very close. Okay. So, battle cry onto the archer. Good. AoE buff. I like that. Do you even know what's ahead of us? No. A river crossing? Yes. Which is also a horror's lair. It's known as Arduin. And it won't let you pass without a sacrifice. Sacrifice? We will wipe this monster from the face of the earth. That's my boy. It's not an easy task, sire. No one has attempted such a feat in here. We would need a great deal of experienced warriors to have a fighting chance. It sort of looks dangerous. A monster. It's a sentient demon, conjured from the most vile souls that Velus could stitch together in the underworld. My magic has no effect on it. Or try a different path. I don't want to hear about a different route. We'll follow the plan and give this creature whatever it desires, or kill it for all I care. Horrors are powerful magical creatures. Guarding the wild lands, eventually every tribe has to either face a horror's plague or satisfy their demands. Fighting them is incredibly diff difficult. Well, sacrifice a child uh, to it or attack it um tell you what guys that's a tough decision i do have the feeling that this is not going to go well for us if we were to attack it so Sacrifice a child. Uh. 
A new life has been brought into the world. Kari, I feel really bad for you. Um, how do you sacrifice someone here? Primary attack deals 20 points of damage and it has 1,300 hit points. Plus 50% attack damage if it's raining, which it is, so... Mm. Yeah, we don't want to attack it. How can we sacrifice a child? Tell you what... Child is on its way. And let's use this one here as well. And not only are you on your way, you also get hasted. It's going to be rough. This game certainly does not spare any details when it comes to violence. No way. No way you're kidding me, right? It, it, it left. Yeah, that looked a bit What's too strong. Here? I don't understand it either. But we should leave immediately. He may return at any time. I agree with the witch, sire. Let's hide in the woods and plan our next move carefully. I find it funny how the game always asks you to want to proceed or not. So this or this gives a bit of an outlook of what's uh, supposed to come. of the underworld. If so, I should be dead. Yet I'm still alive. Dolia is with me, blessing me with good fortune against the odds. It must have been her who crossed my path with the tribe of the Dawn and the Calanthians. I will help them. And who knows? They might help me too. All right. That's it for now, guys. Uh, this is the end of uh, the official playthrough uh, for us on this channel. Just to kind of highlight 
how it would look further like whoever you have found uh, they can then continue to work uh, with uh, with you going forward can essentially take over just so many people into the next scenario but kind of the core group uh, could be taken over and then um, whoever else uh, would have uh, excelled for instance in this case we could take one of uh, the uh, rangers with us uh, with uh, enough experience uh, so yeah you can mix and match and kind of build your own uh, team really maybe get rid of uh, some of uh, the lower experienced uh, troops for a bit more experience in exploration and fighting can even take some of the newer um, found members that you had originally in the previous acts. For instance, we got one here, Borja, with fighting experience four. That's not bad at all. Lots of primary attack damage here. Anyways, listen. Um, if you enjoy uh, Gord, if you like the gritty and harsh feeling a medieval world, if you want to see bit more of a campaign play then let me know about that and i am more than happy to uh, to take a look potentially the next uh, time i would really split up and only have a few explorers slash fighters because you really don't need that many uh, to to fight and you need to keep especially the uh, food economy going so that's my uh, my take on it um, i'll give a full review of the game in um, a is it worth it uh, review and other than that take care and have a good day bye bye